my god! Miraculous Ladybug has just confirmed that Adrian and Felix are Seni monsters! The craziest of all is that the Twin Rings control these guys. This is why Adrian always obeys his father, even if he doesn't want to. One thing that stands out the most is that they always let us see that Adrian and Felix were Seni monsters. There's another theory that has a lot of credibility and connects very well with what we have just confirmed. That the Twin Rings were lost miracles that Emil and Emily stole, which they used to do bad things. In this video, we are going to talk about this crazy theory that can come true very soon, and you can be one of the first to know about it. So don't miss this epic video! I invite you to be a judge of this conspiracy by comment after I explain everything, the like emoji if you think this is true, but if you think this theory is false, leave an X. Subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. If you comment that you did, I will heart the comment. Tell me in the comments who is this character. The answers will be in the next video. At the end of the video will be the answers from the previous video. Let's start by mentioning that Gabriel Agresti did not know that the twin rings that he and Emily possessed were miraculous. If he had known, he would have surely used it fearlessly against Ladybug and Cat Noir. As we quoted in a previous video that I recommend you to watch, which will be in the pinned comment down below, Hawk Moth only wants to bring Emmy back to life. That's why he battles the heroes. It can be said that Gabriel's not as bad as the series makes him out to be. Leaving that issue aside, Adrian's mom was the only one who was interested in getting hold of the miraculous box. For this reason, she had the Hawk Moth and Mariah's prodigies. These were the only ones. She had also known Miraculous, which was the twin rings. This she may have used with his twin sister, Emile, in secret and away from his Agreste. It is rumored that the twin rings are missing Miraculous from the Native American box that first appeared in the New York special. The silhouette of the space corresponding to the rings is identical to the rings. In fact, Gabriel held the twins in the same way as the silhouette. It seems that the animators made this animation so that we understand that they are the missing rings from the box. In case they are not, they may be the Gemini twin rings, since these prodigies exist. Not many people know that the YouTube channel, Mundo Gloob, has revealed that there are multiple boxes of Miraculous in the world of that series, which we know little by little. For those who do not know, Mundo Globo is a Brazilian production house that produces episodes of Miraculous Ladybug, so they know insider information about the series and reveal it in a specific video on their YouTube channel. However, they do it in a form of conspiracies. As time goes by, they become canon within the series. According to the data confirmed in the history of the Graham de Vanley family, there is a huge possibility that they were a privileged family with access to special things as technology, information about magical things, and much more. Now, I will tell you why we think this. Let's talk about the technology first. If you are a fan of this series, you know that Gabriel is the owner of this exaggerated advanced technology. For example, his mansion has a lot of things of high technological advances that are just seen in the underground part of the house. In such place, he has Emily inside a capsule that keeps her in good condition. Our favorite mother-in-law has been in a coma for a little over a year now and is still intact. This technology is exclusive only to this family since nobody else has it in the series. They also have access to an elite branch of science, science that plays God. I'm sure you're thinking, what are we talking about? It's no secret that nowadays, if a woman wants to have twins, she can do it with special treatments. What I'm trying to say is that Emmy and Emile's mother used medical treatments so that her two daughters were born as twins. What stands out here, at the time these girls were granted, only families with certain privileges had access to this. Not like now, that any woman can benefit from the scientific breakthrough. There is a probability that the physical kinship that Adrian and Felix share is not entirely natural, but was planned by their respective parents. Since these two boys are twins and they come from different mothers, in short, the three mothers are probably used for the benefits of science to make their offspring twins. I repeat, in those days, families with economic power and privilege can do this. On the information side, we are witnesses that Gabriel has elite information. A proof of this is seen in the special Shanghai The Legend of Lady Dragon. He knew firsthand and that at one point in China, there is a miraculous with powers out of this world. In addition, if you analyze the dialogue where we first met Chloe's mother, Audrey, she lets us know that she helped Gabriel's design to be seen by more people. But from one moment to another, she surpassed her in all aspects. Gabriel cannot do this to me! I'm the one who discovered him! Without me, he'd still be drawing his unworldly designs in his dismal cramped studio! With the data we are exposing now, we can think that Mr. Agreste used exclusive information to which he has the access to surpass this competition. There are more examples of this, but I think there is no need to mention them since you already may know that they are a similar event. Now, let's focus on the scenes where we learn more about Gabriel's wife and Graham de Valenley family. If you pay attention to the small details, and if you complement it with what Moon Gloob has been going to interpret, you will come to the conclusion that the said family had under their control in the miraculous. Of the twin rings from the generation past, 
rest until they reached the hands of the twin sisters. From Mrs. Emmy's background, we can understand that she ended up keeping both rings for some reason. Perhaps it was a wedding gift because one was owned by Gabriel and the other was worn by Emily herself. At first glance, it is obvious that these rings are very important to the lady because they were the center of her life. In the movie where Adrian's mother plays, the one that Gabriel does not allow his son to see, the film logo is of the rings. If the mentioned film has this watermark, it is obvious that the other films in which this woman starred or has financed the project also contains the logo of the twin rings. Just with this logo of her personal brand, she may be confirming that the rings are the lost miraculous of the Native American box, as they share almost the same silhouette. Although there are a few details linking the rings to the lost prodigy of the Native American box, the signs are clear that both rings may be the same. If they were not, she would not attach so much importance to the twins that she wore it as her wedding ring, so that she would always keep it close to her. Honestly, since it was so important to Emily and had to hide some kind of power that was important to her, so much so that her own twin sister went to try to get the rings back since they belonged to her family. At the end of the story of such episode, Mule gives Felix the ring that he himself takes away from Gabriel. In conclusion, with this data, it leaves the idea that Emily Agresse is the real villain of Miraculous Ladybug and she is trying to get the Miraculous Box. Maybe with the purpose of carrying out an evil plan or to make her whole family even more powerful. In the comments below is the video which I show you all the proof that Emil is the villain of the series. You are invited to watch the video. We are in the final part of this chapter. Rings to everyone who commented in the last video and you'll hear from us soon. Bye!